the summer after my sophomore year of college, I went to India and had an opportunity to travel to the source of the Ganges up in the Himalayan mountains and met some scientists who were studying the glacier. They told me that the glacier had melted and was much further upriver than it was the year before and the year before and the year before, and that the source of drinking water for millions of people was at risk. Seeing the glacier was the first time I saw climate change face to face. That for me was the moment of no turning back, where I said, you know, I need to do something about this. I'm Billy Parrish, founder and CEO of Mosaic. The original idea behind Mosaic was to make it possible for people to invest in solar projects. We built the first online crowdfunding platform for solar where people could invest as little as $25 and earn four and a half to 7% returns. People loved it. There were all of these people who hadn't been able to participate in clean energy and felt really good about making a reasonable return. Today, Mosaic is the largest residential solar lender in the country. So a typical Mosaic customer is a homeowner who has a $250 a month utility bill. We help them pay to put solar on their roof, and that $250 utility bill turns into a $200 loan payment that they pay to Mosaic. People can save money day one. They don't have to put any money down, and they increase the value of their home. We recently bought this house together, and uh, I had longevity at my last house, and so when I called and spoke to the representative there, he shared with me a number of financing options, and one of them was uh, using a loan. There's uh, really no downside. So when I came back from India, I was one of four heads of the environmental club at Yale. Something kind of magical started to happen when we started connecting with other young people who also cared about this issue. There was a sense of empowerment. I took a semester off to organize a Northeast Student Global Warming Conference. And that turned into Northeast Student Global Warming Coalition and that turned into the Energy Action Coalition, which became the largest clean energy organization in the world. We brought together 60 different youth organizations, 350,000 young people across the U.S. and Canada into a unified movement and ultimately worked to pass federal clean energy and climate policies. And I think there's a way to do that where we anchor the marketplace with our own products. After a few false starts in trying to launch Mosaic, could we continue? Yeah. Remember I got a phone call from Van Jones, who's a longtime friend of mine. I just got off the phone with Prince, the Prince. Prince wanted to put $250,000 towards green job stuff in Oakland. Okay. Now you have context. Yeah. And so we partnered with his organizations, Green for All and the Ella Baker Center, and launched Oakland Solar Mosaic, where we matched $250,000 from Prince with $250,000 of crowdfunded money from people across the country. The first day that we put projects on the platform, they sold out in a single day. We knew at that point that we had hit a chord. We believe that the more people that are participating in and benefiting from the transition to clean energy, the faster that transition will occur. The motivations around solving climate change, while strong, weren't enough in that we needed to leverage the private sector, we needed to tap into people's interests in making money, saving money. We work with most of the solar installers in the country to provide them with software and financing solutions. There are over 50,000 people who are prospering from clean energy through Mosaic today. Our goal is to be the biggest platform for clean energy financing in the world.
We're reaching an inflection point where solar is becoming contagious. Enough people have it and are talking to their friends about it, and you're seeing more and more and more people interested in going solar. I'm a movement builder. I'm an organization builder, and I love this idea that anyone could participate in solar. I believe the transition will happen faster than people think, and I believe we can get to 100% clean energy by 2050. And I think pursuing that goal is one of the most important things for us to focus on as a people.